Hi, my name is Morgan, and today I'm going to be discussing with you the risks and signs of melanoma. Cancer. We all know the power that this word possesses. It is the evil of all evils and can affect anyone that it chooses. Today I'm going to be discussing with you the causes, treatments, and symptoms of melanoma and my personal experience with this disease. Many people do not heed medical experts' warnings when they are told to be mindful of how much time they spend in the sun and around other UV products. This ignorance can result in serious, life-threatening consequences such as metastatic melanoma. By the end of this presentation, my goal is for each and every one of you to walk away with a better understanding of the dangers of melanoma and how to better protect yourself against it. My family has become quite familiar with the danger that melanoma possesses. In 2005, my grandpa Armando was diagnosed with melanoma. After four years of radiation treatment, he passed away in 2009 at the age of 66. Being the owner of a masonry company, he was exposed to many hours every day under the sun. And ultimately, the doctors were never able to diagnose the origin of his cancer. It spread, it spread rapidly to too many parts of his body and the radiation treatment did little to nothing to stunt the growth of his cancer. And then a couple years back, doctors found some cancerous moles on my mom, but luckily they were able to remove them and she has thankfully been cancer free ever since. This speech means so much to me because melanoma is one of the hardest cancers to detect and to treat. And like my grandpa, people can go many years without even knowing that they have melanoma. This is why I'm such an advocate for the education on melanoma because I want people to be aware of the signs and symptoms of melanoma before it is too late to treat it properly. So let's begin by asking, what is melanoma? According to thymine DNA glycosylase as a novel target for melanoma, melanoma is an aggressive neoplasm, meaning abnormal growth of tissue in some part of the body with increasing incidence that is classified by the NCI as a recalcitrant cancer, i.e. a cancer with poor prognosis, lacking progress in diagnosis and treatment. Melanoma is a form of cancer associated with the skin that is caused by overexposure to UV light. You are also more susceptible to being diagnosed with melanoma if you have a family history of it. But who is more likely to get melanoma? New systematic therapies and trends in cutaneous melanoma deaths among um, U.S. whites 1986 to 2016 states that white older individuals, specifically males, are more susceptible to dying from melanoma. Other, factor, other factors affecting your likelihood of getting melanoma are how light your skin tone is. The lighter your skin tone is, the more likely you are to getting melanoma, whereas the darker your skin tone is, the less likely you are to getting melanoma. You are also more likely to getting melanoma the closer you live to the equator. From 1986 to 2013, the overall morta mortality rate increased by 7.5%. Beginning in 2011, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved 10 new treatments for metastatic melanoma. From 2013 to 2016, overall mortality rates decreased by 17.9%, with sharp declines among men aged 50 years and older starting in 2015. Over the years, the mortality rate for many other cancers have declined, but the mortality rate for melanoma continues to increase. As stated by the Mayo Clinic, melanoma, the most serious type of skin cancer, develops in the cells of the melanocytes, which are the cells that produce the melanin, which is the pigment that gives your skin its color. Melanoma can also form in your eyes and rarely inside your body, such as your nose and your throat. There is no way to positively know if you have melanoma unless clinically diagnosed by a medical professional. But there are symptoms to look out for that may prompt you to seek medical assistance. Changes in your skin you should look out for will be the change in the appearance of a mole or a new unusual growth on the skin. Normal moles are all roughly the same color, 
round in shape, and the border from the skin to the mole are relatively distinguishable. The Mayo Clinic informs people to think of the letters A, B, C, D, E when identifying the characteristics of unusual moles. A is for asymmetrical shape. Look for moles with an unusual shape. B is for irregular border. Irregular, scalloped, or notched borders may be the indicator of melanoma. C is for change in color. Look for moles that have different colors or an uneven distribution of colors. D is for diameter. Look for moles that are larger than normal shape, which is one fourth an inch or six millimeters. <clears throat> and E is for evolving. Look for moles that change in size, shape, and color over time, and some moles may even become itchy and begin to bleed. While majority of melanoma occurs where the skin is heavily exposed to sunlight or other forms of UV rays for extended periods of time, it can also occur on places of the body that experience little sunlight. Although it is more uncommon, one can acquire melanoma under the nail, in the mouth, digestive tract, urinary tract, or the vagina, and even in the eye. The Mayo Clinic states that melanoma under the nail is referred to as acral lentiginous melanoma. It can also occur in the palms of hands and soles of feet. This type of melanoma is com more common among those of Asian descent or those with darker skin tone. Melanoma affecting the mouth, digestive tract, urinary tract, and vagina is referred to as mucosal melanoma because it, develop, it develops in the mucous membrane that lines the nose, mouth, and esophagus, anus, urinary tract, and vagina. Mucosal melanoma is especially hard to detect because it can be easily mistaken as another common condition. And melanoma of the eye is referred to as ocular melanoma. It most often occurs in the uvea, which is the layer beneath the white of the eye. While today there is still no known cure for melanoma, there are a few treatment options. It is very important to detect melanoma as soon as possible, because with the mortality rates increasing, systemic treatment has very little to no effect on those more advanced stages of melanoma. From the role of SRGN in the survival and immune infiltrates of skin cutaneous melanoma and SKCM metastasis patients, the five-year relative survival rate for early stage melanoma is more than 95%. The reported survival rate for stage four melanoma is rarely longer than a year. Immunotherapy is a popular way, popular way of treating melanoma. Still, there is, it is not a definite treatment for everybody with melanoma. Approximately 50% of people do not respond to immunotherapy treatment. To add to the uncertainty of cancer treatments, gender can also play a role in how effective treatment is. In the impact of sex and gender on immunotherapy outcomes, it states that females are more responsive and experience greater efficacy with immunotherapies that are aimed at stimulating an immune response, such as the influenza vaccine. Whereas immunotherapies that repress the immune response, such as tumor necrosis factor inhibitors for RA, which inhibits the substances in your body that cause inflammation with rheumatoid arthritis, or checkpoint inhibitors for melanoma, the efficacy is reported greater in males than in females. Medical professionals continue to create new ways to combat melanoma, but ultimately the prevention begins with you. It is, easy as, it is as easy as wearing sunscreen year round, wearing clothing that protects your skin and being mindful about how much time that is spent under the sun and in other sources of UV rays such as tanning beds. And also being more aware of the moles on your skin and knowing when new ones appear. Being able to detect changes on your skin and report them 
to your doctor early on can be the difference between remission and too late. Yes, melanoma is one of the hardest cancers to detect and to treat. But my hope is that with this information, you'll be more aware of the changes on your body that may hint to melanoma. It is truly all about preventing the things that you can control. As you may not be able to control your heredity for, of cancer-causing cells that have been passed down from generations, you can control the exposure of the elements that may make you more susceptible to melanoma. Experiencing, experiencing a death by cancer is one of the toughest things to go through. So I encourage you all to take this information to heart and educate not only yourselves, but others. Thank you.